Hi, my name is Dr. Michael Chen. I work with Dr. Demetrius Lopez here at the Rush Center for Neuroendovascular Surgery. I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, narrowing in the arteries in the neck as well as potentially the arteries in the brain. It's referred to as carotid artery stenosis if it occurs here in the neck or intracranial stenosis if one of the arteries within the brain are narrow. It is sometimes discovered in the evaluation for someone who's had a stroke or a TIA referred to as a transient ischemic attack, which basically means that your brain has suffered injury because of a deprivation of blood flow. And part of the evaluation includes looking at risk factors including high blood pressure, uh, heart arrhythmias, cholesterol levels, smoking history, body mass index. But another thing that can be very important in, in determining the risk of having another stroke is whether or not you've had, you have narrowing in the arteries in the neck or the brain. Most often this is as a result of what we refer to as atherosclerosis, which is a hardening of the walls of the arteries that is most commonly seen in the arteries in the heart, but can occur also in the arteries that go to the brain. And this is a plaque that's composed of cholesterol, fat and other um, inflammatory uh, mediators and basically what it can do is either in and of itself uh, fragment and, and travel up to block off one of the major arteries in the brain or predispose to a clot forming and that can travel off and, and block off a major artery to the brain and it's uh, thought to be related to maybe about 20 percent of the roughly 800,000 strokes that occur each year here in the US. So. The major studies that we have right now suggest that the risk of having an additional stroke if you have an artery in the neck that is narrow, which we refer to, which we typically consider 75% narrowing or greater to be significant, and if this narrowing has caused symptoms before, that the risk of having another stroke in the next two years may be down up to about 26%. Now the risk of having another stroke if you've had a significant or greater than 75% narrowing in the artery in the brain is thought to be about 20% as well within the first one to two years. So this really begs the question, it really is, is obvious that treatment options are needed to, to reduce the risk of having a stroke in these situations.